that going and got that going. Hi, so I'm actually doing two videos. I'm doing over here, I'm doing TikTok, and over there, I'm doing YouTube. So, I've been, I have been doing my exercises. I didn't post anything today because I've still been having to take a pause on the 30 fitness challenge thing. Um, I did get some housework done today. Uh, I did laundry. And it was two baskets. And I absolutely hate doing laundry. It hurts. Uh, today was no different. As you can see, I kind of have circles under my eyes. I'm not wearing makeup. I, today's a chill day at home, so I'm not wearing makeup. And I'm hurting. Uh, I don't always get housework done. I'm not always able to get the housework that I want to do done. I had big plans for actually cleaning up our bedroom. I was going to straighten up my dresser because I tend, I am one of those girls, women that toss, just tosses stuff. Can't help it. I mean, I could if I really think about it. But I'm not able to do that right now um, because the pressure on my back and my hips is so much. Um, I had thought about not doing a video, but I wanted to kind of have let y'all have a little peek into my life of what I deal with. Usually, sitting at this desk or over there, which you can't see, I'm usually sitting in my chair. Uh, I do get up and move around. But I'm not able to do that very often. I have to be very careful of how long I do that for. Because not only do I have the issue of pain, but I also deal with vertigo and also weakness in my legs to where they will start shaking. And if I didn't know any better, I would think I was trying to twerk, but I don't know how to twerk. But they will start shaking to the point where they don't support me. I end up on the floor. So, which is why I'm usually in my chair. And the TikTok is about to go, so hold on just a second. Well, I, I will see y'all. I'll be posting this in a few minutes. I still gotta finish this one, so. Yeah, hold on. I'll stop that. Give me just a second, y'all. I'm back um but it really does interfere with a lot of my life uh, I try not to let it but there's only so much that I can do which is why I'm not able to work which is why I don't consistently post shopping videos which I would love to do that I would love to do more of but still work on getting SSI and all that fun stuff so I have a call with them this month so positive vibes and all that um, uh, but I do I like crafting I like pretty stuff I'm just not able to consistently do it as So the living room is actually clean for the moment. I had a little bit of energy yesterday and I was able to do that. Uh, I actually did my makeup yesterday and it looked really good. I mean, it was a natural look and the only way you could tell I wasn't wearing makeup was if you looked really close, but hey, I, <laughs> I didn't feel like doing it today. All I have on is some mascara and some lip gloss and lip balm. Um, and I'm sorry if this is turning out to be a depressing video or a long video. I'm just, I'm hurting and I still, it's one of those, you don't think about pain. I mean, you do, but this is one of those pains that it's, it weighs on you and it 
it hurts and all you want to do is cry and lash out because of how bad it hurts and the fact that you know you still have to function and even I am having a hard time just doing this I for years I pushed through and I ended up didn't know it but I ended up doing more damage to myself than I knew I was so if you have someone in your life that deals with chronic pain and it looks and they look like they're doing fantastic like they're not in pain I guarantee they are they're still in pain they just don't want it to affect to limit them they don't want to let it limit them it still will but if we just lay down every single time we're in pain like even if it's a bad day then if we say it's hurting that means it really hurts even if we don't say it hurts it still hurts I know it's weird but what can I say uh, those who deal with chronic pain we still like to have lives we still want to go have lunch with friends or go to our kids thing whatever they have at school or go play with them at the park um, we want to go shopping we want to live I am a part-time wheelchair user which I've stated before uh, the only time I whenever I go to the grocery store I have to I have to use a mobility scooter there was a couple months ago weeks no months time has no meaning I went to Walmart with a friend of mine we were we were going to pick up something for his car and I decided that I wanted to try and walk while we were in there instead of getting a mobility scooter. Well, I missed, I, that was a mistake. We were in the very back and it was, it's a fairly good sized store. And my hips started hurting. And then after that, my legs started getting, feeling weak and shaky. And I went from being able to, it was a good day, to I had to have him go up to the front and get a scooter and I had to follow him very slowly because I could not stand still or else I was going to fall and even with me moving I almost didn't make it to the scooter like he literally got to me right in time uh, and then going home he basically had to half carry me into my apartment and for someone who's used to back years ago I was one of the I was someone who I was a workhorse I was able to lift 55 55 pound bags of dog food and just carry it over my shoulder now I can't and so for someone who was able to do that I loved going h hiking and for walks and just exploring to now someone had to basically carry me into my house and then for the rest of the day I couldn't move from where I was sitting I had to ask my husband or my son to do stuff for me this is not a pity post this is just giving all a little little bit of a window into what I deal with I can't take y'all around my house mainly because that's a digital camera that only has to hook up to my computer and this thing well it's an older phone I need to get a new one but there's other things that I have to take care of that need to be taken care of first but be patient if you see someone in a store that is using a mobility scooter they're not always just being lazy. Some of them are, yes. There are some who, I have my LA aunt, she refused to try to walk. 
even though it would have helped her. And she thought that when she would go to the store and use one of those, that people felt sorry for her. I didn't. I know what chronic pain is and I do try to walk. I do try to do stuff for myself. Um, our friend Jace Paco and my husband both frequently have to get on to me because I like doing stuff for myself but I'm just not always able to do it. Um, but I think I'm gonna get off of here. Uh, I may post again later on today. I am trying to figure out my rhythm with posting here and on TikTok and on Instagram. Because yes, I do have an Instagram. Uh, and actually, I will... I'm, uh, I'm kind of tech savvy, but not really. I'm still, I kind of figure my way, my way around stuff. I will link my Instagram and my TikTok. Uh, but, and also Pinterest, because y'all, I, I, Pinterest is... I love it. There's just so much on there. I have over 230 boards on there. I'm OCD and I'm... Everything has to have its space. And I love just going down rabbit holes on Pinterest. But I will talk to y'all later. I hope you lovelies have a wonderful day. Remember, we are all human. Again, this is whatever you have going on in your life. As Prepper Nurse says, it is one thing at a time, or one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. That is not my thing, that is his. And I will, but it's, it works for everything. So I will see y'all later.